What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Doing any and everything, y'all. Let's see here. Topic of the day. Not just a topic, but some action. I ain't put no food on here, but I want to show you guys how to actually start the Kamado. Brand new, so you don't see all the dirt and the darkness of, of the Kamado's brand new. First time, I'm going to show you how to start it up and uh, how you get your fire up the tip. Without further ado, let's roll into how to start a Kamado. We back. Uh, yeah, how to light a ceramic grill. We're going to do this together, y'all. I bought me one of these. You know when you get a new toy, you got to buy all the accessories. So instead of me buying the little cubes, which I do have, I'm going to take them back since I don't need them now. Well, first I'm going to try this electric uh, charcoal starter where you just pour, pour your lump in, you stick this in there. Takes a plug though, so if that's inconvenient, then you keep the cube. So I may just keep them. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just pour this in there and uh, light the grill, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all how we go about doing this. Use lump coal. I got this from Lowe's, I mean, uh, Sam's. Uh, it's cheaper 20 pound bag. I don't know how well it works, but we're gonna find out. So actually, let me show you this. If you see the holes in there, uh, let me see if I can get, get your views. If you see the holes in there, they recommend that you don't pour lump over, you know, just above the holes for your cook. But since it's my first cook, we're going to test this joke out. So all I'm going to do is pour these in there and then go from there. That's enough. So, all right. Another thing, buy you a container to keep your lump coal in. That way you don't leave them in the uh, the bag. This is actually an extra extra one I had when I bought the, uh, a container for my dog food for my dogs, which you'll probably periodically in my videos see running around. But uh, it's great for storage. I just pour all my lump in there. And then that'll be it. And then uh, they'll be ready for next time. Also, Supposedly the uh, the the ceramic grills are great about preserving charcoal that you don't need. Once you're done, you just uh, close all your vents and then uh, you preserve coal that you can use next time. But we're gonna see. Uh, all the this in there. And then uh, go for that. Yeah, it's still got a little bit more, but anyway, I put that to the side. And then we're gonna light this. So I'll be back once I find me a, uh, an extension cord. Uh, I'm gonna stick this just in here. They say you put it in a volcano shape and then let it do what it do after that. So we're gonna come back and see, see if that works. Anyway, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, barbecue land. Let's show you real quick how much lump I have in there. Keep in mind, this is brand new, y'all. So we're going through this together. All right. I got my uh, electric starter plugged up, extension cord. All right, safety first. They even got a lip right here so you can sit it up here so it comes to temp. As it comes to temp. So once you plug it in, it's automatically on. I don't have an on-off switch on this one. So all I'm going to do is just stick this in here. Actually, I'm going to show you as I'm doing it. So, so that you know. Just stick it right in there. And then let it sit for about, they recommend between uh, 8 and 10 minutes. I'm going to let it sit there. And then uh, I'll come back in a minute once it's, uh, the, I guess when the uh, lump coal is glowing, y'all. We'll be back in a minute. All right, backyard barbecuers, we back. Uh, as you guessed it, this thing is on fire, y'all. I don't mean literally on fire. As you can see, my little wand here is uh, doing this thing. I'm going to unplug it so it comes up the temp. Let me give you another look at that. See that lump coal? It's in the center. It's coming up the temp, so I'm about to close the lid. Let me unplug this real quick. Safety, y'all. All right. Let me get my bag of hickory out the way. And I will sit this over here. So that it comes down. And move my lids out of the way. And I'm going to close it. So one of the things it recommends you do is I have my... So I have from smoke, grill, and sear. I'm going to open it all the way. And I'm going to keep my eye on my temps. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. And I'm going to open this all the way to sear, too. You can already feel the heat coming out of it. So, real quick, I don't know if you can see that. 
Let's see if you see it moving. Eh, it's kind of slow. Anyway, I'm going to let it come until it comes up to about 250. Because I'm cooking in the 225 range. So what I'm going to do is, since I'm cooking in the 225 range, and this is recommendation on any grill. Because the food you introduce to your grill is colder than, I'm assuming it's at room temperature. If you took it out maybe 15 to 20 minutes prior to cooking. But if it's coming straight out of the refrigerator, it's probably going to be about uh, uh, less than 40 degrees. So when you put cold stuff on heat, guess what the heat does? It cools off. So I'm going for about 250. Uh, as soon as I see it at 250, then that's when I'm going uh, to go ahead and close my throttle my vents back to smoke. And I'm going to go ahead and put my, my turkey on there, y'all, at some point. So without further ado, that is how you start a fire y'all with the ceramic pretty easy right like i said remember as soon as your, your fire or uh, your heat source comes to temp maybe do it 25 to 50 degrees heavier like if i'm doing a, a pulled pork so i'm using a boston butter or a shoulder i'm gonna let it go to maybe 300 because that's a big piece of meat or a brisket and then it will throttle back you'll see the temp go down and you can manage it it's easier to bring the temp up than it is to bring the temp down on any grill I don't care what kind of grill you got. So keep that in mind, y'all. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, showing you how to start a Kamado. Appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and even share it out, y'all, so other people can uh, learn from uh, what we're doing here on this channel. Uh, it's bigger than me, y'all. But anyway, this is your boy from Mr. B. Well, from Backyard Barbecue, we'll holler.